Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. It's five freaking morning in the no, five twenty-five I think in the morning. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. And we're just getting up. Oh, she's gonna start squeaking one of her toys. Alright guys, we're on our way back. I got the big parka jacket on because it's friggin' freezing outside today. I asked the temperature before I left with Google. It says it's minus 7, but due to the wind chill, it's minus 16. And I'm like, I'm wearing a big old jacket. So, she uh, took care of her business, lickety split. So, I think she's cold too. So, we're going right back. She's happy as a clam now bouncing around and stuff but yeah I needed to keep myself covered I'm gonna bring their snow suits and stuff in to make sure I get those warmed up before they even get up today all right guys well it's about quarter after six we just got home a few minutes ago I made my coffee gave her her breakfast I have the kids jackets hanging over laying over the register so they get nice and toasty uh, I'll probably have a struggle with Mazaya to wear snow pants because it's not like there's, I mean, there's snow outside, but not like s deep snow or anything. But uh, Misha too, but I'm going to bundle them up as much as I can. But anyways, yeah, I unloaded the dishwasher while I was waiting for my coffee to brew. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do today. I do want to clean my fridge. I don't know whether I'll do it today or do it another day. It needs it, but I don't feel like doing it, but it needs it, but I don't feel like doing it, so I don't know. We'll see. There's always other stuff I can do. Yeah. All right, the kids are up. May's is cranky as all get out, but I have his clothes right here with his snowsuit and boots and everything. Misha's yet to be seen, but she's awake and not happy about it. And Mazai is downstairs, and Violet's oblivious to the turmoil, but she's just walking around with her little pink poodle. Oh, it looked like a mushroom. She Do I really look like a mushroom? Okay. I have my husband's hat on right now, but I'm outside with the girls. And uh, Maze, of course, and say hi, Devin. And it's colder then I'll get out so anyways we're just waiting on the bus I have Zaya's sneakers in my arm she brought them home and Maze's gloves so yeah and Violet's just playing and Violet's running her, around she's just free as a bird <laughs> she just loves it outside I got your gloves in my hand hon I was just all right here, pass me your granola bar. Oh, I dropped your mask. Oh no! Yeah, Violet, come here. Oh, Violet! Violet! She's looking around like she might pee. Actually, I think she's gonna pee. She might pop a squat. She already had a pee this morning, but that's what she does. She goes back and forth and back and forth. Oh gosh, I have to put you guys away a minute. My fingers are frozen. I know. All right, they just left. Yikes. It's cold. I'm going to keep saying that over and over. Misha forgot her mask. She had to run in and get it. She probably left the door wide open. But, oh well. We're getting a fire going today, I can tell you that much. Ooh, but just having your fingers out, they get numb. Like, if you've ever stepped into the Atlantic Ocean, even in the summer, your feet will go numb after a while because it's cold. Well, at least here in Nova Scotia. I'm sure way down south, like when we went to Mexico, still wasn't as hot as I was. I always thought it must be down there in the water, but... It's not like bath water, but yeah, here, it'll go numb. You can swim in it, and I swim in it sometimes, but it's almost painful the first couple of minutes, and it goes numb, and then you go swimming, but it's that kind of 
cold numbing uh, temperature outside so I'm gonna go wake up Mally. Oh god I'm cold. I should have started the van up earlier but it's quarter after eight. Mally and Violet and I I'm just waiting on Mally to come out. are heading to town. I have to drop off a car seat and a change of clothes for Evie at his daddy's. Um, I haven't been to Superstore every day this week. I think there's three days I didn't go, so I want to stop there when I go in. It's Friday. I probably won't get to the store this weekend, so I just want to do a quick look-see. And um, I'll drop Mally off of school and be back. Be back. Oh, here she comes. I said, you need to wear a jacket and everything. So she has that on. She didn't want... I said, I, if I was you, I'd wear your red, like, parka jacket. But she's like, no. But it's warmer than the one she has on. But what you gonna do? All right, guys. I'm at Superstore. Mally and Violet are in the van having their Tim Hortons. So... I'll go in and see what I can find. I'd like to go to Frenchie's sometime. I want to go there too. I want to see if there's any more skirts. Yeah. Just any, anything really. guys well it's 10 o'clock we just got home a few minutes ago I'll show you <laughs> what we got um, I got a bag of lemons 50% off regular $7.99 Mally really likes lemons and I slice it and put it in water sometimes and they're just good for you good for you I bought two things of pudding one's banana pudding one's vanilla pudding for lunches they were on two for a dollar or maybe two for two dollars I don't know something uh, these are those little apple slices, 50% off. They're good for lunches or snacks over the weekend. Um, I got some After Sun Lotion, Hawaiian Tropic. I don't know. It smelled good, and I thought, oh, I'll get some. I got some uh, kids' toothpaste. This is Dora the Explorer. No, Dory. Dory from Finding Nemo. got this Burt's Bees toothpaste. It's fruit fusion kind. Maze hates brushing his teeth with peppermint stuff. He likes different flavored stuff, so I thought that would be good for him. And I got this one, um, regular $1.14. That was regular $4.99. God. $2.99, $1.14. Close up, it's the cinnamon flavor, so he's never had that kind. He might like that one, too. 
and I got some more kids sunblock. You can't have enough sunblock um, for all seasons, really. I got Violet some more food. I mix this with kibble with her breakfast. It's really good. It smells delicious, to be honest. Um, yeah, and I got two roast beefs. 840 regular, 50% off. 788, 50% off. I'm cooking this up for supper. I'm gonna try to do it on the wood stove, to be honest. I'll do that in a minute. I got some cinnamon buns, 50% off. Regular 549, so about 225 each. I got some cupcakes, 50% off. Regular four bucks. That can be for dessert, or that can be for dessert after supper tonight. The other one can be for tomorrow. I bought two things at Rice Krispie Squares for lunches. This is cookies and cream, and this is one's birthday cake. It has sprinkles and icing on it. Not good for you, but... And I stopped at Frenchies. I'll show you that in a minute. So I need to put this stuff away and get that roast going, and um, then I'll show you my Frenchie stuff. All right. Violet's under the table playing with her toy, and it keeps squeaking. It's funny. But I, that's still sitting there. <laughs> Can you hear it? Anyways, I'm using my husband's cast iron like croc thing. Um, I only have one onion. That's a travesty. So, and it was a small one. So I cut it up. I used the last of these little baby organic carrots and cut up a big old celery stalk just to line the bottom of it. I'm going to get this beef out, and hopefully they both fit in here. So we'll see. All right, friends. Oh, oh yeah really wouldn't be doing this with clothes sitting there, but these are going right in the washer anyways. Not that I'm getting food on them, but this is a jar of my turkey bone broth. I'm gonna throw some of that up in here. Not all of it, I'll save that. I can either drink it today or use it for something else. Um, I have onion powder and garlic powder, and I forgot to get freaking black pepper. We have like peppercorns. I don't know. I'll have to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do. But let's get this out. And oftentimes when I'm lazy, I just put onion or Montreal steak spice on it. But I thought I'll try something different today. God. I just want to see. I might have to tip them up on their side. It's just going to be a big old sloppy mess of a supper. But and I don't have any like fresh potatoes here, but I have canned tomatoes in the bait. Not tomatoes, potatoes. So the kids can have some potatoes and roast beef and some mustard pickles, and that would be a good supper, I think. Now. I'm just gonna set them up on their side right now. And this is garlic powder. I should add some salted green onions to this too. I wanna do both sides. Oh, for goodness sakes. in, rub it in, rub a dub dub, two beefs in the tub, and since I'm going to be having, this is Lowry seasoning salt, having the fire going all day because it's hot, or it's, the stove will be hot, but it's cold outside, um, I can, it's only 10, 16 now. I can let this simmer on the wood stove all day long. And my canned potatoes are already cooked. I take them out, rinse them, and warm them up. And Bob's your uncle. There it is. I can mash them, or I can fry them like a hash, or whatever. And I can do that on the wood stove too, so I'm not using any electricity. Come on. My husband's here today, but he's going to be working after upstairs, so. And Marquise has gone to town. And 
Did I put Riley's on there? I think I did. Well, I'll reuse this glove for a second. Let me just take this out. I'll get the... Just green onion, salted, like fermented kind of. So I'll put a dose of that in there. Good, it's good, it's good. I need to find that pepper, but I can add that in a bit. I'm just going to try to squish it down a bit. The lid, I'm going to set it right flat on the stove as a handle. Oh, it's heavy. You wouldn't want to swing that at somebody's head. It's a Cabela's one. Camp oven. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to get this on the wood stove and I will be back. I need to clear this table off and wipe it down before I show you these clothes too. So I'll be back. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I didn't know how to show you my haul, clothes haul, because I rarely buy clothes for myself. But there, can you see me? So this is my outfit for today. And I'll show you. See, at Frenchies, you can't try stuff on. You gotta just, you know, buy it and hope for the best. Gosh, so. I've seen some comments. I know I wear raggedy stuff, but that black thing I usually wear and there's holes all in it. I know it's a rough looking ticket, but it's my favorite. I've had it for years. I know it's just about falling apart, but I love it. Now I bought a few different things. They don't fit me now. I swear to God, they're going to fit me one of these days. Now this is too tight for me. I can wear it. Look at that. My arse is showing. If I had a nice looking arse, I'd, I wouldn't mind, but I like things like this, like this, but it's too tight. My, I always have like big shoulders and big arms, no matter how small I get, my arms and stuff are big. I'm not saying that in a vanity way, but they're big. But so I will try this on again next month. We'll see, Violet, but I'll wash it and put it away. If <laughs> you'll be like, you bought all the same thing. It's kind of all the same thing. What size was that? And you can never tell. Like, this is one size. So one size fits all. Well, no, it doesn't. There, that one's not too bad. It's still a little tight, but I could wear that with a nice pair of blue jeans if I can fit in some jeans someday. There. If you don't know by now, black is my favorite color. I usually wear all the same color. It looks like I wear the same clothes every day. I swear I don't. I just have all my clothes are black. What size was that one? That was a medium. And I don't know brands, but, and that's French, so I'm not even gonna try. Oh, this is a size small, but I think I got it in the men's section. Oh. Yeah, I can already tell. Next month will be better. Yeah, too tight for my comfort. But I like it. So I'm going to be sure to fit into it properly how I want to fit into it. It's just not today, I guess. But. All right. I don't want my sh shirt to lift up and you see my jelly belly. it's like a blanket this is size large and it's one of those I don't know what you call them like a poncho thing but there's arms things for my arms 
doing a fashion show. Can you see him? Want to stop it? What are you doing? A fashion show. Oh. Am I on a tape? You are. But. Yeah, just a minute, guys. All right, I actually like this. I know it doesn't give me any shape at all, but I don't care about that. But I didn't realize it had arms in it. I am digging this. It's like I have a cape. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So this is a large. I'm going to wash all this stuff today. This is not black, even though it looks like it. It was in the fabric area. So, I don't know. It's a large. It's a... Uh, an Irish tradition. Pure new wool. I have to see if you can wash wool like normal washes. It's a large. I think it's a men's sweater. Oh, I don't mind that. I know it's not body flattering, but I don't care. It's just a big old wool gray sweater, good for a cold Nova Scotian winter day, for sure. So I got that, and I did get something with color, you guys. You're like, why don't you wear color sometimes? I got this in the men's section. Kind of reminds me of Harry Potter, but it's a man's shirt, so I will try to wear a color once in a while, but I'm not into the frilly stuff at all. I like simple, plain, all one color if possible, but yeah, those are the shirts I got. I think that's all of them. And I did get a couple pairs of pants, but I didn't try them on because you're not allowed. I got a pair of stretchy pants, just like workout pants because, oh, I didn't notice. There's a little pocket thing there. These are just, well, they're Reebok, but whatever. I wouldn't care what they were. And I did get, oh, there is one more shirt. Just a black shirt. Cold Pruff. This is a large. I like shirts that go long. This is almost like an undershirt, I think. Like I like how it goes down low when I don't have a like, little muffin top and it's not gonna be so bad, but there you go. Oh. And I did get one pair of jeans. Now I have jeans here when I was at my smallest I was wearing size like three, two, three. This is size seven. So I haven't tried it on. And I don't know if it's gonna fit me in the waist. My legs are never big, like I've kind of like chicken legs, but got a pair of jeans and I'll feel good when I can fit into these. If I don't, I will try them on and I'll let you know. I don't know. Oh, this is Gap, size seven. I did buy one pair of sneakers, not for me, they're too big for me, but for Mazaya. She says she takes a size 9, and these are new little, nothing fancy, but I thought they're red, they're kind of cool, they'd be good for play sneakers, or if she wants to jazz up an outfit or something, got her some snakes. So, that's what I got at Frenchies. So, let me get this stuff in the wash, and I'll be back. Alright, I just put those jeans on but I can't get the button done up. I'd have to lay down on the bed and suck my belly in, so it's my hips. I'm telling you, my hips don't lie, and they're telling me, not today, Tracy, but I will try them next month. I just thought, it'll be a test. It'll be a test. I know I can't fit into my old jeans, and I didn't want to buy ones that were too big. I'd rather, this will be my goal size for now, and then I'll see where I'm at when I can fit into these jeans. So yeah, I'm gonna wash them and put them away anyways. Oh, there's one more thing I got. I got a little bag. 
I'm thinking for Misha maybe. She has like little play makeup and stuff upstairs. I'll wipe it out good with the anti-back and cleaner. And yeah, zips up. It's just a cute little thing. I couldn't resist. All right, guys, since we're cooking on wood stove, we gotta make sure that the wood stays topped up. And that is hot. Pudding packs. I'll take the Rice crispy thing. There's another one right here. Right there. Right there. Get in there. Good. There we go. The draft's open. That'll start bubbling pretty soon. All right, I got the wash going. I'm gonna sit down a minute. And I'll check on that roast in a bit. I do want to squeeze in a workout today. I'll just wait till my husband goes upstairs because I get embarrassed. He doesn't do anything or say anything. Like he, he's very supportive, but just my own, my own self. It's all my, it's all me, not him, all me. All right, guys. Well, it's 11:58. I just did a workout. I did it. I didn't know if I was going to do it, but I did it. And it was an hour. Now I didn't do all the stuff. I'm not going to even try to do push-ups. I, well, I say I try, but it's not like the, I do the old fashioned lady push-ups. You know what I mean? Down on my knees and stuff. Oh gosh, it was a long one, but we did it. We did it. And I can smell that roast. But if I get too close to myself, I can smell my armpit. So I need to get in the shower. And my husband just, he had ran to the little market up the hill. And I think he got bacon. I can smell he's starting to cook bacon. And there's that roast beef on the wood stove. And my sweaty self right here. So I need to put my stuff away and get a rinse. Whew. Well, I'm going to go up and jump in the shower. Then I'll do another load of laundry. Get all fresh and clean, clean. And yeah. Uh, it's coming up with their pink poodle. I'll just plug you guys into charge now. Oh, all right. I'm all tickety-boo now. I smell like men's Dove deodorant. I got it for my son. A package. I don't know at some point, but it bothers him, so I'm using it. <laughs> I'm using it up. Waste not, want not, so I smell like man's Dove deodorant. Violet, for heaven's sakes. But, yeah, I feel much better. I need to check that roast. And uh, I'll have to go in the basement and get those spuds. All right, I just checked that roast. My husband's in there talking on the phone, so I didn't want to record while I was there. But there was steam coming out of that roast pod. Um, so I just tipped it a little bit, like the lid off, to let some of the steam out. And, um, yeah. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Now I'm coming down in my deep, dark uh, basement to find some spuds. Usually Violet loves to come down here. But she's standing up there still. But I'll find my spuds and we'll go back up. All right, I brought up two quarts. I didn't want to bring up a whole great big bunch, but I have potatoes like this. I think these were red potatoes I canned. Ooh, October 2019. But look how well they held up, held up. Like, they're not cloudy. They're not nothing like that. But they're cooked. So I'm going to take them and strain them. And, uh, yeah, I might make a... Well, I don't have onions to put in the hash. I might just fry them up with some butter and salt and pepper. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I do have other little baby potatoes with the skins on. Dry canned, so there's no water in it. Those are good, too. But I thought I'll start using some of these up. And look what my husband made. I think bacon must be in the microwave and some eggs, so I might be having some of that. All right, I did have a big old beautiful plate of bacon and eggs, courtesy of my husband. But I'm going to pop the top of these, but I just wanted you to get a better look. They're just peeled potatoes. I forget what how long I pressure, pressure can them. you got to pressure can them. But it cooks, so these... 
By rights, I can poke them with a fork and they'll be done. But I think I am going to kind of fry them in some bacon grease on the stove. And then I'll just get some of my canned vegetables to go along with it. But let me get these out, rinse them, and I'll be back. Whew. All right, guys. I put one of the frying pans my husband had the bacon in, bacon and eggs in. There, there's just a little bit of bacon grease in there. Um, let me just find something here. So, here are the potatoes. I just rinse them. It just rinses some of the starch off of it because, you know, potatoes are starchy and stuff. But, um... I want to kind of make them smaller, but I'm just going to throw them in here. And I'll just kind of break them up a bit because I'm too lazy to do it by hand. And we'll be good. Watch out, Violet. I should tie my hair back. But I'll wait till this starts sizzling. But yeah, these are pretty well cooked. I can poke this thing right through it. They're not falling apart like mush. They're stiff, but they're cooked, just like pork. And I just wanna season these. I don't believe I put salt in them when I can them. You could, but I didn't. This way I can season them myself. I'm just breaking up some of the bigger potatoes. And usually, oh, maybe I have some frozen onions. Cause I don't have any fresh onions. Maybe, just maybe, naughty girls need love too. You know that one? Or maybe it's naughty boys need love too. I forget. I do, I do have some frozen diced onions. <clears throat> Ta -da! Good amount of that in there. I'll take you off the tripod and bring you up close so you can see here in a minute. And I did find the pepper. Hip hip hooray. Right, Violet? Usually I would do this with butter, like fry the potatoes in butter, but maybe I'll have to add a little bit. We'll see. It got to have lots of pepper in there, I find. We like pepper. And I'm gonna use Larry's. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, Violet. Don't give me a hard time about it. There, I'll bring it off so you can see before I mix it up. Just a sec. All right. So can you see there? Like some of the pieces were kind of big, but it just cuts right through those frozen onions. This is going to take a little, a few minutes to warm up to get that grease hot again. But all you can see, it'll just be coated. So I don't know if I'll have to add butter to this or not, but I just want to get them hot. And I could get them hot and mash them, but that's not what I want to do. Some potato hash. It's a good thing. We'll take the lid off that roast beef too. I'll just have to get my glove because that thing is hot. Bust up there, buddy. Bust up. Let me find. Let me switch hands. So remember I put bone broth in here. So it's going to be... But look at that. Isn't that glorious? Just glorious. That's pretty well good. I should get Lucy or Ethel out my little turrets that I can put the that on. So it will still stay hot, but it, it won't be like right on the burner. Right, I didn't show you this, but I put the lid on this. This top thing is a skillet too. 
Um, oh God, it's heavy. Let me put you down so I can get that off. <laughs> All right, it's starting to sizzle. It was just taking too long, so I put the lid on it. It's starting to sizzle now, Violet, don't worry. I just don't want it to stick to the bottom. <clears throat> I like for the potatoes to get a little crisp, like a little browned, at least on the bottom. I'm gonna just leave it. It's only quarter after one. Um, low and slow, I've never done this on the stove before, so I don't see why it won't work. <laughs> it's just not a dial to connect, to control the heat, but it's good and hot, so it should work. All right, guys, I keep checking those potatoes about every 10 minutes just to move them around. Now I'm going to add some more fuel to the fire. I'm going to go down in the basement again. I should have gotten them when I got the potatoes, but I think I'm going to get some peas, maybe carrots or green beans. I would have got a salad today, but the one that they had 50% off, a couple 50% off salads there, but... It didn't look all that healthy, so it didn't. There. That feels good. Feels good. Anyways, that'll finish cooking our supper. Well, the kids' supper, anyways. But I, when I get those jars out of the basement, I'm going to put those on the stove, too. Easy peasy. All right, I went down in the basement. These are some organic baby carrots I canned. Um, I've canned whole carrots before too, but you can can these as well. November 2019, I got two little half pints of green beans. I had to have canned these at least two or three years ago, but they're still good. Still good. I got lots of them down in the basement. I picked these locally from a farm. Brought the girls in there a little. I have an old video about that, like when I first started YouTube. If I can find it, I'll put it down below. But I'm going to pop the top of these and get them in something I can put on the stove. There we go. All right, I emptied the two little half pint jars of green beans, and I just put like a blob of butter in there. I'm going to mix it around, throw a little salt and pepper on. I'll do the same with this, with a little dash of sugar. And, yeah everything will be pretty much done because these are already cooked. They just need warming. All right, I think I'm going to mash these carrots up a bit just to cut them up some. Betty wanted to come out. Should have got more carrots because Misha especially loves carrots. But there are some carrots in that thing that the roast beef's in too. It's just they're not, they'll be beef flavored. Yeah, I don't want this to turn to mush but just to break them up some. I was about to start doing it to that too, but that's good. All right, guys, I set the timer for 10 minutes. I come out and these are sizzling, sizzling. So I'm going to take these things, these kettles off the back, and I'll just set them back there because it'll still stay warm, but it's not going to be directly on the heat. But yeah, you can see that, like that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. And if you keep cooking them, they'll just turn mush, and we don't want any of that. I should get a picture of all this stuff off before I move anything. All right, guys. Well, I just put my Frenchie clothes on in the washer. I have one towel to hang up. I have umpteen towels to take off my drying racks from yesterday the day before probably there's a dry rack over there full of towels yeah I gotta do that and then I have one lowly towel to hang up but um, a few of those items that I got at Frenchies you're supposed to lay flat to dry I'm not gonna lay it flat but I will lay it on a drying rack and I didn't wash that wool sweater I looked up how you're supposed to wash wool and you're not supposed to you know do it normally they suggest hand washing it which I probably will not do that. I will wash it solo in the washing machine on the extra gentle cycle with just water. And yeah, then just air dry it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, 
It was four dollars and I'll eat it. It's fine. I'll probably still wear it even if it's a mess because I'm just like that. <laughs> but anyways, gotta get my towel hung up. All right, the dry racks are emptied except for that one right there. I am going to make myself a coffee. It's 23 after two. I had a coffee like six o'clock this morning, so my big mug, this is a big mug, but my big, big mug that I like to use is in the dishwasher, which I just turned on a little while ago. The wash machine's going. I took 13 stinking towels off that dry rack, those dry racks. <laughs> I just threw them over my rocking chair in the piano room. So that'll have to do, pig. But I'm going to bring my coffee upstairs and unload my phone and hopefully get this video up today. Uh, yeah, my cord's upstairs. Leo lad, are you coming? Bossy, come on. My husband's upstairs working, so I need to be quiet, quiet. Oh, oh, we were upstairs editing. I got a little bit of it edited. We heard the bus come. And of course, Violet pops up like, and I said, oh, oh, who's here? And she storms downstairs. Scramble, scratch, scramble, scratch. But the kids will be coming through. That stuff is just a sizzling, even on the back. So I might have to take it off and just set it on the stove top. Zai, why don't you have your jacket on? It is cold out. Misha doesn't have her friggin' jacket. Misha doesn't have her jacket on either. What? Roast beef and potatoes and carrots and beans. I got it at Francois's boutique. What is for? I thought for your little little stuff. I got you a pair of sneaks, Zaya. You said you take some. Misha. Sheesh. I'll show you the sneakers after. You take her out for a pee. Okay. These are things from Madeline. Oh. For what? Are those tiny chocolates have nuts in them? Yeah. Yeah. How was school, Bob? Is Violet out there? No. Oh, she's got her poodle. She's supposed to play with that when I'm I know. Those red shoes are from Mazaya, yes. That might be a little long for you. You said yesterday your snowshoes, I didn't have size 9, and that's what you take. So, Wait, those are snowshoes? No, those aren't. But those are size 9 sneakers. Oh. So that yeah. probably fit in. Alright, Misha likes her little sparkly case. S stands for Sparkles. sparkle or snazzy or sarsaparilla or silly girl. Silly succotash. Stop. Oh, what about me? He said, I never thought. I only want meat. Oh, you only want meat. Well... I'll see. I'll see. Anyways, I just took that roast beef out. This looks fuzzy. Anyways, there's the roast beef. I'm going to chunk it up. That's not burnt. Just saying. It's not burnt. Perfect. I'm going to chunk it up. And uh, I have a crock sitting on one of those turret things. So, yeah. Let me cut this up. Okay, you got to get your sparkle case out of here. Or you're going to get roast beef grease on it. But there. That cut up. Just like butter, it really did, but not shreddable like in a slow cooker. So, and I can use some of the drippings. I could have made a gravy, but I wasn't gonna do that. So, there's drippings if they want some. I need some mustard pickles. All right, I had to break out my board because I had to take everything off the fire because it was sizzling, and I don't want to burn anything. So, I'm just gonna assemble some plates. Oh, I need some pickles. I keep forgetting. All right, here's my mustard pickles. They need a good shake because I canned these in September 2018. Still got something down in the basement. I have an old video on this, I think. If I do, I'll put it down below. But these go perfect with roast beef dinner. I hope my battery doesn't die, but <laughs> this is Misha's. She had she wanted some drippings on her meat, and that's a carrot from the cro like the pot the meat cooked in. And some other carrots and green beans in the fried potatoes and some mustard pickles. Mm -mm. It has baby onions, some cauliflower, some cucumbers, some red pepper, maybe some green pepper. I forget. But I call these, yeah, just mustard pickles. Got the recipe from my mom. Oh 
Misha just said, well, after supper, can I have that? And I'm like, what? Out in the porch. I forgot all about those cinnamon buns and cupcakes I got. I said, yeah, just get your brother one too. <laughs> but I'm going to go up and finish editing my video now. And I'll be back. All right, friends. Well, I have this video edited all up until now. I can't believe it's like after five and it's still light out, which is wonderful, wonderful. My cheeks are red, but I did have that shower today. And I have eczema and this time of year, you just never know what I'm going to look like from day to day. But I'm going to end this video now. We had a good day. The kids all like supper. There's still some roast beef left, but Marquise and Kara haven't stopped by. Medea and Cody and Evie haven't stopped by. So if they do, there's food if they want some. Um, yeah, that was fun, cooking on wood stove. I hadn't done that in a long time, and it worked out good. It worked out good. And I don't have to pack lunches for tomorrow because there's no school tomorrow. It's the weekend, so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I do plan on filming this weekend, um, or getting it on tape. As my husband said I, when I was watching it while I was editing it, when he said, oh, am I on tape? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we zoned, we zoned, so. Anyways, yeah, I thought I'll end this now so I can get it edited and uploaded at a reasonable time and all that sort of thing, and then I can start fresh tomorrow. Tomorrow being Saturday, I don't know what's going to happen, but... Something will happen, and I love when you guys come and hang out with us, even if we just bumble around and bump nogs or something like that. We just hang out, and uh, sometimes we cook, sometimes. I do have one envelope to open. Dad brought it out a few days ago, and I still haven't sit down. We'll open that tomorrow. I forget who it's from. It's in a red envelope, so if you sent me a red envelope, we're going to open it tomorrow. Um, Yeah. So with that, I'm just going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So Violet is right here under the desk. I'm feeling good. I got that workout in. So I've done a workout every day this week, I think. When did I start that? I don't know, to look back at my videos, because, yeah, I'm doing it every day to hold myself accountable. So I did one today, and I'll do one tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyways, with that, I'm going to say have a good night, or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Boink.